Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're a new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another discovery set. And today we are going to be escaping to nature with Abbott, yes. So if you wanna experience smelling these with me, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you like smelling good too, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you all doing today? Please let me know in the comment section. I hope your day is going well and swell or your night. Whenever time you're watching this, we are going to go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and move on over. Okay, I'm over. Now what attracted me to this brand is that it seems to be very nature focused and I love nature. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the website. I'm gonna to read to you a little bit about the brand and then we're gonna get in to these six fragrance samples. Now I've seen this brand at Sephora but I never really thought anything of it. And when I saw it online, I just decided to grab it. Oh, let me screen record, how about that? Now, when you click on the Our Story section of the website, the first thing it says is fragrance as a tool for connecting with nature. Nature remains my refuge, my place to slow down and reconnect. So basically one of the creators who the first one here is Jose. He talks about growing up in Nicaragua in a family of coffee makers and how he always was in love with nature since he was very young. In his 20s, he moved to New York, but he always made time to escape back to nature just to reconnect. So Michael, who is shown here, and Jose created Abbott fragrances to celebrate different landscapes. And each fragrance is inspired by an ecological destination. It says it's an eco-driven brand. They're PETA certified, vegan and cruelty free, and fully committed to using only the cleanest and most sustainable ingredients. Our mission will always be to create healthy and conscious fragrances without ever sacrificing product performance or artistry. So that is just a little bit of information about the brand. Now let's go ahead and get in to the fragrances. Let me click on the sample really fast. Oh, they have a bigger sample set than what I have. Now this exploration set actually has eight fragrances and this one's $30. Ooh, wait a minute, a discount code with purchase. You'll receive a discount code for $23 via email toward a full size bottle. Okay. I will go ahead and get it from the Abbott site. This one again is from Sephora and I believe this was $25, I'll check. But for $30, you get eight cents versus the six as well as a discount code. See, stuff like that makes me mad. I'm gonna start going to the brand websites first before I get them from Sephora because this is a way better deal. Let me just check Sephora really fast to see what I paid. So yeah, I paid $26. Let me see, what's this? Hold on now. Now wait a, hold on. Let me just see the difference. Okay, so they do have one at Sephora for $19.50. And instead of having Papaya Isla, there's Montecito. So that's the difference it looks like. Okay, so I don't have that one. I have this one that's $26. But again, for $4 more, you can get two more cents and a coupon. Okay, let me just go back to the brand. All right, before we get started, here's what the packaging looks like. So you can see kind of the nature landscape on the front. And then this is the back. You take it out. And here's what the discovery set looks like up close. Let's go ahead and get started with Big Sky. All right, so starting with Big Sky, a crisp and clean perfume with hints of spice inspired by the mountains and plains of Big Sky. This subtle yet intoxicating scent with cool natural notes of marine, wood, and dry grass transports you to the mountain air and glacier melt slowly running into the Montana prairie. Ooh, okay. Now this comes in 50 mLs, 10 mLs, and 8 mLs. The top notes are spice marine, mid notes are cypress, and the base note is vetiver. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a spicy, mm, nature, outdoorsy scent. 
I can definitely smell the marine notes and a little bit of cypress. I'm not really getting the vetiver, but I'm getting the spice marine and cypress. This just does remind me of being out like on a crisp fall day. Hmm. This smells really pleasant. I think if you like a, a woody outdoorsy fragrance that doesn't lean too masculine, that Big Sky would be for you because it is unisex. Like sometimes those woody and cypress type smells can kind of present more masculine, but this one doesn't. I like that. Mm, I like that a lot. Okay, let's look at the reviews and see what they think. Let's see. The Big Sky fragrance truly reminds me of Montana. It's cypress, vetiver, and spice marine, but to the untrained nose, it kind of smells like sage. I am a woman, and while I don't want to smell masculine, I'm not a fan of floral light scents. This is pretty good at remaining unisex. It is bold and spicy, but not over the top. It's very unique, and I love it. Yeah, I think that definitely sums up how I feel. I do see that some people say it is not lasting super long, but most people seem to like it. I also see a mix of reviews from men and women. Mm, I really like that. I think this could go for summertime, spring, fall. Doesn't really give me a wintry vibe, but definitely spring, summer, or fall. Like if you're out on a, a nature walk or a hike or something like that. Okay, that's a win. So next we have Mojave. Mmm, okay. A citrusy and spicy clean perfume inspired by the Mojave Desert of California with its lively and warm notes of citrus, spice, and wood. Mojave will awaken and restore your soul. It is also perfect for layering and will add a spark of romance to any occasion. The top note is bergamot, the mid note is black pepper, and the base note is tobacco leaf. All right, let's see. That tobacco leaf always has me intrigued. Oh, I like this. Okay, this reminds me. Oh, it's like, um, so the bergamot, it smells like lemon orange in the opening. And then there's that hint of tobacco. So this is a, definitely a citrus wood scent. Oh, I really like this. Now, I would say summer or fall, maybe. I don't know. Citrus, I always equate with summertime. But, you know, I could wear this in the spring. I mean, you could wear this whenever. And I could see this going well with Big Sky because I have Big Sky right here. So it did say that this one is good for layering. So I do like this one as well. I think this is another great unisex scent. So let's see. Smells just like the deserts I visited, warm and dry like its namesake. Lots of compliments. Unique and wonderfully refreshing. It's definitely clean and crisp. Never had so many compliments on a cologne. My girls say this is what sexy smells like, only lets me wear it with her. I can't. Again, I'm seeing a mix of male and female reviews on this one. This is another win. And Big Sky still smells really great. And these don't smell like overly strong, which I like. That's nice. All right, on to the next. Two for two, two out of six. All right. So next we have Papaya Isla, a fruity and floral clean perfume inspired by a small tropical island in Lake Nicaragua where Abbott founder Jose Alvarez has a family home. This warm and tropical scent with its papaya fruit and jungle green notes will transport you to an island paradise recommended for wear year round. Okay. And the notes, top note is papaya, mid note, jungle greens, and the base note is Ambrox. Now I need to look up Ambrox quickly. Ambrox smells velvety, woody, and ambery with animalic, creamy, and mineral facets. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, now out of all three so far, this one's the strongest one. Definitely get a big opening of papaya. I can smell that for sure. It's very fruity and sweet. This is nice. For me, I wouldn't need a lot of this because this one for me has the potential to be a bit strong, but it's really nice. I feel like the first two are calmer scents. Now let's see. I definitely smell the papaya. That's what's really uh, standing out. Now, jungle greens, I'm not exactly sure 
maybe that's more of a plant-like smell. It definitely smells green, outdoorsy and fresh and sweet. Now in the base we have Ambrox, which if Ambrox is an ambery type note, I do smell that as well. This one's nice too. Now, this one to me leans more feminine than the other two. The other two to me are truly unisex, but Papaya Isla smells feminine. Hmm. I like this too. And I'm wondering, I'm going like this because I'm just wondering like how these will smell if you combine them. Mm, that's nice. Okay, a three out of three. As I said in the last discovery set I did, I'm like, I like when we have all these wins, but it makes my wish list uh, longer and longer. Let's check out a couple of reviews and then we'll go to the next one. Definitely a winner. Tropical fruity notes are delicious. Mm -hmm. Paradise in an instant. Instantly transported to a lush island paradise filled with vibrant papaya, jungle greens, and juicy fruit. It's definitely like a juicy fragrance. Unexpectedly fantastic. Okay. All right. Incredible combination. All right. So that's another win. Now we're going to go to Sequoia. A deep woodsy and smoky clean perfume inspired by the towering forests of Sequoia National Park. The sandalwood and incense notes of this scent are truly intoxicating and Sequoia is wearable year round for any occasion, whether to work or for a romantic evening. The notes are smoky incense in the top. The mid note is cedarwood and the base note is sandalwood. I love sandalwood. Mmm. Mm. I was going to say something smells a little citrusy in here, but there is no citrus note. So this is a sandalwoody incense fragrance. Again, this one is unisex. Yeah, I would wear this, but I can see a man wearing this too. If you like sandalwood, I think you would like this because that's what really stands out to me. The incense is kind of faded at this point. And that was quick. The cedarwood sandalwood is what I smell in this. If you like sandalwood, you would like this. This would go so well. Like if you like vanilla, like a sandalwood vanilla scent, I think you would like this. And we're gonna check out some reviews on this one. Forest in a bottle. Mm-hmm. This scent really smells like a campfire in the forest in a perfectly balanced way. It's perfect for all situations in every season. You don't need another scent on hand. Amazing outdoor fragrance. Captures the essence of the Sequoia Forest. Love the small bottle of big trees. Yeah, I love this. Smells great and a little goes a long way. My favorite to wear alone or layer. Oh, she likes to put it with Coco Mademoiselle. Hmm, that might be interesting. I don't know. I know that's Chanel, I think, but I don't know the, the fragrance. Very earthy with no sweetness. Yeah, it's not sweet. Aromatherapy to go. Yep. I, I really like this one. Yeah, all of them still smell really good. Again, the... Oh, and the papaya. That one has settled down. So I like that too. Because that one had a stronger burst. But they're all really nice. Okay, well... <laughs> four out of six I am liking so let's go to number five okay I'm really excited to smell this one this one is Crescent Beach a floral amber and oceanic clean perfume inspired by summer spent among the flowers and breezes in the New York Hamptons this addicting scent with romantic notes of peony lily and jasmine evokes fresh laundry drying beside fields of flowers, mixing with salty ocean breezes. And the notes are peony, lily, and amber musk. Okay, now I'm not as excited. <laughs> okay, all right, let's check this one out. Those notes don't give me a beach vibe, but we'll see. Hmm, uh, that wasn't what I was expecting, okay. Okay, for all of those flower notes, peony, lily, and amber musk, I didn't think I was gonna like this. This reminds me, I can see how it's a little bit beachy, but it reminds me more of when they talked about the clean laundry. That's what this smells like. A clean, clean laundry hanging up outside. Yep, clean laundry drying beside fields of flowers. 
mixing with salty ocean breezes. I don't think you could have a more accurate description. To me, it smells like, um, it almost has a soap vibe. Like, I don't even smell the jasmine. I don't know what I'm smelling, but it smells really good. Oh, there's no jasmine, sorry. So, and I'm not as um, sharp with the floral scents. Like, I know what jasmine smells like, for sure. But picking out peony and lily, it's a little tougher for me. Uh, let's see if any reviews capture this. But I'm, I'm definitely surprised by it. I was pleasantly surprised by the elegant and sophisticated scent. The peony and lily notes create a floral and feminine touch to the fragrance, but it's not overpowering. The musk, amber musk, adds depth and warmth to fragrance, making it more masculine and inviting. The fragrance is perfect for daytime wear, especially during spring and summer months. It's light and refreshing. It keeps me feeling confident and energized throughout the day. Okay. And this is, uh, this appears to be written by a man. Now I can see, at first I was thinking feminine, but the only one I would say is more feminine is the papaya one. I could definitely see a man wearing this, but at first I think you would think it's, it's feminine. I usually go for scents with some citrus and spice. So this is a change for me, but I fell in love with the clean and sunny feel to this perfume and I'm currently wearing it as my everyday scent. Yeah. It is not overly floral, which is nice. It's very light. Smells like flowers on the beach. That's exactly what it smells like. And I, I guess flowers and beach, you know, when I go to the beach, I don't see that, but you know, I've never been to the Hamptons. So, you know, now they do say that this one lasts about two to three hours. And I see a lot of people saying it's a personal fragrance. So these aren't gonna have like, the huge, I guess, projection or I guess sillage is the word. I'm trying to be fancy here. Uh, as I learn more, I don't know if you're going to smell someone with this or any of these when they walk into a room, but they all smell really good. All right. So that was number five. And we have one more left, which is the cape. All right, I'm excited. Ooh, okay. A fresh and cool, clean perfume inspired by a winter surfing escape to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. This crisp, long lasting scent with its invigorating notes of mint and ginger will refresh and rejuvenate you, body and soul. It should be worn any time of year for any occasion. The notes are mint, ginger, and moss. Y'all, I'm excited. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Mm. Oh, that smells so nice. Okay. To me, this leans more masculine than unisex, but I think I would still wear this. You can definitely smell the mint, ginger, and moss. You can smell all three. It's really unique. Let's check out the reviews. This is from Chris. I really love this scent. Clean and crisp. Great all year round. Great for the office or a night out. Yep, I can see that. Amazing and long lasting cologne. Great fragrance. In my opinion, it's best to use in warmer weather. I want to see if there's any women. Awesome. Lovely scent. Immediately my favorite fragrance and took my number one spot with no hesitation. This is my husband's favorite Abbott scent, but it's so good. I have to steal it every now and then. So they talk about the longevity in this one, that this one's pretty good. May have a masculine vibe to some. It's perfect for me. Fresh, easy to wear anytime. Not overpowering. Clean ingredients, so no skin irritation or allergic reaction. This is my second bottle, a favorite for sure. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move over and let you know what I think about these. All right. I hope you enjoyed experiencing those. I have to say, I like all of these. If I have to choose the... Big Sky, the Mojave, I think in the Sequoia, those are my favorite. So the Big Sky was the one with the Spice Marine Cypress and Vetiver. Mojave was the Bergamot Black Pepper and Tobacco Leaf. It had that citrus opening. And then Sequoia was the one that dried down. It had the incense in the beginning, but it really just smelled like straight sandalwood, cedarwood. Those three I really like. I think I really like the woody scents from this house, but none of them smell bad. The Crescent Beach, the Crescent Beach 
was the most surprising for me because I don't think I expected to like a scent with Peony, Lily and Amber Musk. Like just seeing that description, I wouldn't even pick that as a sample to try. So I'm really glad that I purchased this set because I do like it. The Cape, that's the mint, ginger and moss. I like that one too. It's more cologne-y, but it smells really good. And then Papaya Isla. That was like that sweet, tropical, juicy uh, fragrance. I like that one as well. Sweet. But I think the woody ones really stand out to me in this house. And so I think for these, I don't know if I would get a full size bottle at this time, only because my fragrance collection is really growing. But I would definitely consider purchasing some of these in the travel size. Uh, mainly Big Sky, Mojave, or Sequoia, one of those. And to me, those three, I feel like I could just layer them and mix them all up and they would really go nicely together. But all of them were very, very nice. So we have another winner. Oh, I do want to tell you about the other fragrances that are not in this discovery set. So also in the lineup, we have Montecito which has a top note of grapefruit, mid note of jasmine, and a base note of vetiver. We have Telluride, which has a top note of suede, a mid note of sandalwood, and a base note of tonka bean. I think I would really, really like to smell that one. That one's inspired by the mountains of Colorado. Montecito was inspired by road trips along the Santa Barbara coast. And we have Voyagers, which has a top note of ozone, a mid note of violet, and a base note of amber musk. And that's gonna be inspired by the waters, grasses, and wildflowers of Northern Minnesota's Voyagers National Park. So those are the ones that we have not tried. So just in case you were wondering, but we've tried all the other ones. I just want to mention that the exploration set on the brand website, the one that I said had eight fragrances, the only one it doesn't have is Papaya Isla because I remember when that one came out. So that is the newest one, but it has all the other eight fragrances. So just wanted to mention that. And I really love that these samples are two mLs because it's really gonna give me a chance to wear these. So I'm really happy with this sample set. Basically was able to try, what, six out of nine of their fragrances. I'm really liking them. If you like any type of outdoorsy, woody, nature inspired scents, then I think you would enjoy this fragrance house. If you are into like clean perfume brands or you have sensitive skin, I think that this would be a great fragrance house to try. And if you don't want something that's too, too strong, I think these would be great. Again, a couple of these are stronger than others. They are like more personal. They're not necessarily a skin scent fragrance, but they're not gonna be too strong. And I really like that. So let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances from Abbott, or if you are curious in trying the fragrance house, I would love to know. And with that being said, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another exploration set today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, black.